point, it's been a few years since you'd been in the playoffs. Just how much were you looking forward to this opportunity just because it had been a few, it had been a couple of years? Yeah, it was um the last two years not being in the playoffs, it was um, you know, it sucked. I was um early vacations. Last year I was I went to Coachella, like I ain't never been able to go to Coachella. <laughs> My man said he ain't trying to go back. At least he been to Coachella. <laughs> I have never been to Coachella. And I think and the I ship might have, might have sailed. I don't know if at 45 and 55 we can go to Coachella. I'm I don't not know. 55. Uh, First of all, I'm not 55. <laughs> you're, ten, you're 10 years older than me. I don't, I don't know. Ahead. I'm not Nine. 45 yet, technically, all right? But I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could go. It's been a while. I mean, you know, we used to do oh, yeah, concerts say, all the time. Music's for everybody. You know? Music's for everybody. Yeah, no, for sure. I that's just all there is to it. I'm at the club. That's all. I'm going. Um, for, <laughs> hey, look, man, I ain't trying to holler at nobody, there. I ain't <laughs> trying true. to holler. Uh, okay, so uh, round one of the NBA playoffs tipped off this weekend. We had eight games, eight victories by the home team, most of them not close. And dare I say it, the team that won game one has the advantage. Um, just go on the limb and say that. Um, so I'll ask you this way. Like I mentioned, you know, we know who won the games. We know yeah. all the home teams won game one. Um, but who would you say won the weekend from a from a, either a team or an individual player standpoint? Again, we, we're talking storylines around here. Who yeah. won the opening weekend of the NBA playoffs? Dame. We just heard from him. I think Dame won the weekend. Because we have been get, talking. Get him there. Get him I mean, there. Come on. Come on. I ain't even going to have to say that. I'm going to just sit this segment out. You about to I say mean, everything look. I was about to say. Go ahead. Go ahead, Cook. Look. Go look. ahead. First of all, first of all, the, Miami, uh, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks as a three seed, they were discussed like they were a seven or eight seed. They had some problems. We know they had some problems coming down the stretch. Doc Rivers trying to get the team together. Giannis out. What are they going to do? Dame. Hasn't quite fit in. We know Dame's strength is not defense. I, I think he would say that. He probably would be, he would probably take umbrage with any kind of, with us coming for his neck on defense. He'd probably say, hey, I, I, I do what I got to do. But that's not the number one part of his game. So I think the Milwaukee Bucks coming into this playoff series, we expected, I expected, I'm not going to say we, I expected not only a competitive game from Indiana, I thought Indiana was going to win. I thought mm. Indiana... I still think Indiana's going to win the series, but I may need to back off. Of oh, okay. That. Okay. I need to back off of that because maybe I forgot that Dame Lillard is capable of 35 point halves and that yeah. when you, when you let him do his thing in the playoffs, he's got a pretty good track record. Now his track record against stiffer competition Get a little. He's been in the Western Conference Finals, I think, once in his career. And when you well, look when, at his, but, but when is he on the better team? Oh, I, I got it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not about to say. Oh, he ain't nothing. <laughs> I ain't about to yeah. rip him. But right. I'm saying, but when he gets right. to the Western Conference Finals, those stats go down. But if you look at some of the right. numbers that he has in the postseason, uh, there's right. a reason there are some clips out there and some memes out there of Dame Lillard. The man knows what he's doing when he's not at Coachella and he's out on a, a playoff court on a playoff stage. So I think Dame yeah. Lillard won the weekend because it's just a reminder of who he is. Check my resume. Check my LinkedIn. I'm pretty good at this. Well, I, you, again, you, you stole my thunder. I would agree with you that it's Dame. He's the biggest winner from the weekend, even though he hasn't won anything. And that's the thing is they won game one at home. They could still lose the series to a Pacers team that gave them and him a lot of trouble in the regular season for whatever it's worth. They still don't have Giannis. Like we could be having a different conversation about Dame and the Bucks, you know, this time a week from now, right? So it's keeping in context that it's one game, but there have been a lot of great players that have played for that franchise. He's teammates with one of them right now. Well, two of them if you count Chris Middleton. And nobody scored as many points he scored in the first half and a half in in Bucks history, French Buck, Bucks franchise record that's, has some that's weight wild, to isn't it. You know what I mean? Bucks franchise record. Okay, we're, now we're talking. Okay, so for him to have that kind of performance Kareem, and his return Oscar. to the playoffs, 
Marcus right. his Johnson. Return, you know, big dog. I mean, go down the list, right? Sydney, Ray Allen. Martin like, Cree, you know, Ray Allen. I mean, um, a lot of them. You know, um, for him to have that kind of performance in his playoff debut, when there's so much pressure on him, despite the built-in excuse, because at this point, they, the, the benefit of the doubt that Dane got from a lot of people all those years in Portland expired the moment he decided to follow everybody else and say, okay, I want to move on to a more competitive situation. And the moment he linked up with one of the best players in the world in Giannis, it's like, okay, now you got to show and prove. And I don't think many people would, would, would be or will be, because it still could change, will be lining up to give Dame Lillard an excuse that, oh, well, he did not have Giannis. And so Dame yeah. has to do at, at what he did last night, even though he, you know, checked out in the second half, and that was fine, his, his job was done for the night. Um, he has to carry this team offensively, even with Chris Middleton doing his thing, even when Bobby Porter's doing his thing and, and you know, Brooke Lopez, you know, chipping in on both ends, like Dane has to be the guy now and even when Giannis comes back because an early exit, despite the built-in excuse, will not be acceptable for a lot of people when it comes to Dame's reputation and legacy. And so given the amount of pressure that is on him, even though he's, I'm not saying he's doing it by himself, even though he's missing the guy that he came to team up with, even though a lot of people have questions about his coach in the playoffs, it doesn't matter. Dame got to show up and Dame got to do his thing and he did his thing last night. So you and I agree, he is the biggest winner. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.